Battlestar Galactica is all about human beings. I have cancer. I wish I could say it was the least of my worries, but the world is coming to an end, and all I can think about is that I have cancer, and I'm probably going to die. My wife and I watch it together. If either of us watched it without the other, that would be grounds for divorce. Men and women can share this. My wife not included, she'd rather watch Dancing with the Stars. Relationships are the central focus of it. You know, sometimes it feels like the whole ship thinks uh, Starbuck would do better. I do. How can you be so sure? Because you're my son. If you lived in a world that was suddenly taken away from you and you just happened to live, how would you continue to live? I never wanted this kind of responsibility. The silence never asked us what we wanted. Welcome to the big leagues. What's great about the show is there's a constant sense of urgency. Greatest contact is the silence. Damn it. The whole underlying story of can we save this race? How do you keep people hopeful when you're floating through space? You've got 50,000 people left on these spaceships running out of food, running out of air, running out of everything, and constantly under attack by the Cylons, a far superior force. The tone is as dark as it should be. How could you make light of the fact that the human race is about to become extinct? How many casualties do we anticipate? It'll cost us. If you succeed, what's to prevent the Cylons from coming back with reinforcements? Nothing. But if you keep running from the schoolyard bully, he keeps on chasing you, but the moment you turn around and stop and you punch him really hard in a sensitive spot, he'll think twice about coming back again. Even though the humans are so outmatched in every way, shape, and form, they just gotta suck it up. So it's either this or run out of fuel and be annihilated. Sometimes you have to roll the hard six. Battlestar is uh, shot in a way that few science fiction shows are by making everything seem extremely real, extremely lived in. Welcome to Galactica. Well, you got to remember that Galactica was a decommissioned battle star. It was going to be a museum. It's a bucket. It's an old war horse. Is your auto landing system down? I was uh, hands-on for the whole approach. It's all hands-on here, Captain. There are no auto landings in the Galactica. Visually, it just sets the entire tone, these dark corridors. Everything seems wet and cold and, frankly, like it's going to break down. And hard seal. Hard seal secure, sir. And all the old phone stuff must have saved them a bundle. We have the same phones here at E. I'd want one. And I would just say, Joss Actual, all the time. And people would say, please don't answer the phone like that. It's embarrassing. Attention, set condition one throughout the fleet. It was all about function. It's not about comfort. Like even Adama's quarters, I've seen that set. I wouldn't want to go on that toilet, it's gross. It's not suddenly Minority Report where you have cars on track sliding up and down buildings and that's the new subway system. It's like, yeah, well, you know, I still have to screw this in with a screwdriver. There's still bullets in this gun because that's what works really well with, with shooting stuff. Like, those Vipers, they don't fly themselves. These guys are flying these things like real pilots. And if they don't, humans are done. So you better make sure you're flying that clunky old Viper the best you can and take those Cylons out. All of the details of it, the way that the ships land, it, it feels like an actual flying craft skidding onto a platform. It's really cool. Every time the Raiders come out of the, the Cylon ship and there's just thousands of them with streaks of gunfire across space, it's awesome. I think what I'm impressed most about the production is you have a budget. There are things you can do, there are things you can't do. I've never seen anything in Battlestar that said, oh, that's where they cut a corner. There has never been better special effects in any science fiction television show ever. They are as good as many movies, and I'm astounded by them. Three, two, one, jump. 